Now, babies born prematurely are at the risk of developing hydrocephalus. That's according to the NIH, but 15% need surgery to implant a shunt. Yeah, sometimes that surgery is successful, unsuccessful, or sometimes even unnecessary. Health reporter Haley Hernandez is joining us now with details on incredible research they're doing at the Texas Medical Center that is basically going to make it uh, easier to determine who's a good candidate for surgery. Yeah, exactly, because nobody wants to perform an operation on a baby that isn't needed, but that does happen. So to better understand what is happening inside the brain, local doctors have developed a cap that can help them see what's going on inside, and it has the potential to help babies like Aries from Richmond. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. When five-year-old Aries was born at just 23 yeah. weeks, his mother knew they would face challenges. You know, with him having a very low birth weight, he was at high risk uh, for contracting some sort of disability. <laughs> He ultimately had several conditions, one of which was hydrocephalus. And like too many babies born premature, he endured operations he might not have needed. We attempted to do um, something called a left reservoir placement. It's a tiny piece of plastic implanted in the brain to help drain some of the fluid. Um, so we took that uh, chance, um, but it too was unsuccessful. But there's no technology currently available that could have changed that for him. That's why his mother agreed to be part of a clinical trial for a device that can detect how fluid is draining in the brain. And it would make surgery outcomes a lot more successful. For the first time ever, you could shine light that's harmless, like comes out, that comes out of your grocery scanner or your remote control, near infrared light, from one side of the head and collect it from the other side of the head. This is Dr. Manish Shah from UT Health. He says the reason this is so important is because right now, surgery to implant shunts in babies doesn't have a great long-term success rate. In terms of shunt failure, a third of patients who have a shunt put in will fail their first year and will need another surgery. So the device created at UT Health and Memorial Hermann could improve those odds. So we have a hypothesis linked to all this. Um, if the fluid is not being reabsorbed in a certain way, then maybe they'd be a better candidate for the shunt procedure versus if the fluid is being absorbed this way but not this way, then maybe they would be a good candidate for endoscopy and thus avoid the, those three out of five patients who aren't going to benefit, figure out who those are and not offer them endoscopy. Dr. Shaw says this photo where he's holding baby Aries is a pivotal first moment in the device that, if approved by the FDA, could one day help babies with hydrocephalus. It was great. It was such a, it was such a great moment because I knew that one day this is going to help this, you know, maybe not this boy, but somebody else. And that's like that's the dream of every scientist is to see their work help a child or a patient. And we're all we're like we're almost there. It's like January or February when this is going to happen. So we're submitting to the FDA like at the end of the year. And Aries mother hopes the study he's done with Dr. Shaw can improve the odds for all kids born in his situation. That cap, you know, had it been something that, you know, um, was ready for um, daily use um, in intervention. Dr. Shaw would have been able to, you know, see that the right, inter what, what was the appropriate intervention for him, um, as opposed to kind of trying to guess what, what would work and what would not work. Because at this time, there is no cure for hydrocephalus. And so, again, right now, it's hard to tell who's going to benefit from current interventions. And then you add the complexity of having a premature child that's still developing. So the benefit of a medical device that provides that kind of imaging about what's going on inside of the brain, you know, the mother says that that would just be a game changer for parents yeah. like her. That's and coming incredible. as early as January or February. Yeah. Doing amazing things in the medical center. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah.